joined now by Dr. George Luter. Uh, George is from Kiel, Germany. And George, thanks for joining me. Uh, so the topic we're assigned, <laughs> although we could talk about anything. Right. The topic we're assigned is uh, new mitral prostheses. What, what's new in mitral prostheses? So what's new? Uh, new is uh, that mitral prosthesis already can be implanted uh, preclinically into um, uh, pigs or sheep. So we can show that those valve stents already can be uh, implanted into the mitral annulus. So um, uh, we can um, uh, see that those valve stents already can work over four weeks per optimally in a pig. So that means um, that we uh, measured hemodynamics, right. we did uh, 2D and 3D investigations, CT scans, and could show that uh, those valve stents stay in place and they uh, move and uh, the heart valve function is excellent. Uh, the problem we have had in the former times were that we uh, observed any paravalvular leakages. Right, right. So this is uh, so often with the valve stents, you know this from uh, TAVI, right. aortic valve uh, stent implantation. They carry a lot of um, about um, aortic valve regurgitations right. due to uh, calcium. We have the problem of fixation of valve stents and you know <clears throat> a lot of uh, companies uh, working intensively on this uh, right. project. And I had the, uh, the luck to work with uh, Lucian Lozontri, right. uh, my partner and friend from Madison, Wisconsin, and he is excellent in this. And he came over to, to Kiel and worked with me uh, together on this topic. And uh, it was amazing because he was so man much uh, interested in this topic that we could make it in 07 already to acute studies of mitral valve stents. And uh, further on in the, in the later <coughs> five years, we could make it up to, to those um, valve stents which work uh, optimally. Um, we had in the, in, the four, in the last two years we worked intensively on reducing the uh, pulmonary, um, pulmonary artery, arterial pressure. Okay. So they went up due to restriction and uh, so you developed leaks, stenosis and stenosis and, and perivalvular leaks. Is you, that... you could think of uh, also also implant those valves in, in, in mitral stenosis. We didn't we didn't uh, put mitral stenosis on our pigs. Um, we observed that we had this restriction due to. Um, the uh, fixation in the mitral annulus and okay. uh, due to any, any paravalvular leakages. That's what I'm saying. When you put, right. the, put these in, then it, then it effectively produced an infotrack stenosis. Uh, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, LVOT obstruction we were uh, keen on reducing right. and uh, in the latest trials we didn't see any LVOT obstruction. So that was uh, one of the milestones uh, we could achieve and uh, overcome uh, this problem of uh, LVOT uh, restriction or even obstruction. For, for the viewers that might not know, how are you implanting these? How uh, are you putting yeah, these right. in? How, how, how is this done? Right. Uh, what you do, uh, you come uh, Directly with the, uh, <clears throat> you do a mini stenotomy. Okay. So about okay. Uh, two inch. Okay. And then you go uh, directly into the apex uh, after you perform two purse strings, and you go with the catheter. It's about um, twenty. No, it's between eighteen and thirty French right. at this time, and then you go with this sheath. You go into the left ventricle. Uh, uh, towards the uh, mitral annulus, so you <coughs> come around all the cordy tendinia and go into the left atrium. And if you're there on the on the roof, uh, you start uh, implanting your device uh, and, and you deploy it um, <coughs> in the, the left atrium. And secondly, you look for the mitral annulus, and thirdly, uh, for the um, you would say ventricular column. And afterwards, you fix it with uh, neo tethers. So neo neo cords. Neo cords. We don't go for a mini stenotomy. We do uh, the uh, the standard transapical okay, approach so in the in the uh, sixth or uh, seventh intercostal okay. space. So again, uh, two to three inch, and then we do a, a standardize as we do in Tavi. Okay. We do a, um, a transapical approach and plant this valve and fix it on the on the epimyocardium, uh, the apex. Okay. And the uh, second step will be to, to get um, to uh, transfemoral approaches and, and uh, 
uh, yeah, then secondly, we will uh, transeptally you know, come, come down. And, and come down. You, right. The obvious question, you know, and do you do this, you do it under echo guidance so that you avoid chordal structures and things like that? Correct. Uh, echo is, uh, is the, um, the image uh, we use for guiding. And this works excellently. We switch between 2D and 3D, right. and out of this we have the chance of ob um, observing and uh, uh, understanding how, how where we are and where we're going to. And uh, you could think of uh, having an, an angiography um, right. as an adjunct, and uh, with the help of cardiologists we will uh, um, have an optimized um, team approach. So uh, as cardiac surgeons we, we always think of a team approach, and we work together with cardiologists, and uh, both together we will make it. So you've been you've been working on this since 2007. And Correct. You've made you've made uh, design advances that that implant that make it uh, fit the annulus better. In essence, yes. is that it? Yeah. And so so if if things go well, when do you you, th you think that next this year and sort of the winter? I mean the fall months that you might start uh, looking at humans. Correct. Yeah, that's what we do. That's great. That's great. And and um, if we took it out five years from now, ten years from now, um, and it and it works, who would be the candidates that you would use this procedure in? Yeah. Candidates uh, will be uh, functional uh, mitral regurgitation okay. patients, uh, which are of high risk uh, to do a uh, standardized right. uh, mitral uh, reconstruction operation, uh, minimally invasive or standardized. And those will be on front next year uh, to get one of those valve stands. That's fabulous. Well, it's very exciting. And thanks very much for joining us. Randy, I enjoyed it very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. See you. Thank you.